Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of finance. You are watching Finance Concepts with Nikhil. My friends, let us take up an important topic for discussion right now that is hedging through index futures. Earlier we have talked about hedging with stock futures. Now we are talking about hedging through index futures. So our objective remains the same. The long position in the stock you have to hedge using futures contract but this time it is not the same stock futures that is to say it is not the futures contract with respect to the same stock but it is a futures contract with respect to an index a stock market index so why are we attempting to use index futures in place of stock futures you have plenty of reasons for this the stock which you are holding may not necessarily have a futures contract quoted in derivative market what I'm trying to tell you is there may be thousands of stock listed on a stock exchange but the derivative market may not offer futures contract for all the stocks there may be handful of 25 to 30 stocks on which the stock futures contract has been offered by the derivative market what if the stock that you are holding does not have a corresponding futures contract then how would you hedge this time the answer is hedging through index futures that means there will be a futures contract on a stock market index so instead of an individual stock you are taking index futures contract to hedge your stock position so there has to be a relationship between the stock and the index and the relationship between stock and index is best way identified through beta this is what we have learned in portfolio chapter beta is the indication of relationship between a stock and the stock market index accordingly using this beta we will derive an entire procedure of hedging through index futures and how it works let us understand it through an example let us take up question number 16 and let us first read this question Mr. X holds 4000 equity shares of A Limited. Such shares are currently priced at rupees 400 per share. Nifty is quoted at rupees 7960 in spot. The correlation of equity share of A Limited with Nifty and Nifty futures is 0 0.8. Standard deviation of A's stock is 6%. Standard deviation of Nifty is 4%. 3 month nifty futures is quoted at rupees 8000 you are required to explain how the investor can create a perfect hedge what will be the outcome if after 3 months the share price falls to rupees 340 per share and rises to rupees 448 per share these are the two cases given to us let us first analyze the whole situation before we start putting up the solution one thing that is to be observed you have been given the current nifty price as well as the nifty futures price so friends in examination take caution when both the prices are given you are always concerned with the nifty futures price because we are not entering into a spot index contract we are entering into index futures contract so if both the prices are given you should always take the futures price point number one if in any case the futures price is not given to you not informed to you only the current index price is given to you spot index price is given to you you have to apply FFP approach that is fair futures price and through the spot price you have to derive the fair futures price of the index but you will still take the futures price you will never take the spot price for hedging so one thing is very clear in this question we have availability of futures price directly so we are not going to take the spot price at all secondly you have been given a correlation of A's stock with nifty and the same correlation exists for nifty futures as well so what we need to do with the standard deviation of A's stock standard deviation of nifty and the correlation between these two we are going to arrive at the beta we are going to arrive at beta of 
a limited stock with respect to nifty futures and this beta is going to play a significant role once we determine how much is that beta i will then explain you what is the application of that beta in this whole scenario so let us first begin with the initial two small small steps once we are done with that much i'll explain you ahead so in the solution you would begin with determining the value of stock portfolio at present so in this case the number of shares will be multiplied to spot price per share which we have as 4000 shares multiplied by rupees 400 per share that means the investor has a total investment portfolio of rupees 16 lakhs next step would be to determine beta now we know how to determine beta we have learned this beta of x will be standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of index that is standard deviation of market and multiplied to correlation between x and market here we have beta of company a to be determined and that is to be computed by taking 6 divided by 4 into 0 0.8 and that gives you 1.2 all right friends you would have finished writing this whole thing let us first try to understand what we have to do with this computed beta what we got as 1.2 times beta of a limited with respect to nifty futures is 1.2 times that means if there is any increase or decrease in nifty futures price the price of a limited stock would move accordingly in the same direction but by 1.2 times for example if nifty futures price moves upward by 5 percent stock of a limited will also move upward but by 5 into 1.2 times that is by 6 percent say if nifty futures drop by 10 percent the drop in a limited will be 1.2 times the drop in nifty futures so 10 percent multiplied by 1.2 the drop in stock of a limited will be by 12 percent so now what we have to do with this beta this beta of 1.2 times we are simply going to multiply to the stock portfolio value that is 16 lakhs multiplied by 1.2 what you get is 19 lakh 20 thousand this rupees 19 lakh 20 thousand gives you the desired value of index future portfolio that you should contract for that means you should undertake a nifty futures contract of total value 19 lakh 20 thousand now the question is which position in the nifty futures the answer is simple obviously short position why short position because you have taken a long position in the stock to hedge the stock you have to take a reverse position in the index futures particularly where the beta is positive because stock and nifty futures if both are moving in same direction to take the hedge position you have to always take the reverse position so to hedge the long position of stock you have to take short position with respect to the nifty futures so let us do one thing let us move ahead with the solution keep paying attention to the screen and i'll show you what you have to do ahead so the next thing in the solution that is step three you will determine the desired value of index future portfolio and desired value of index future portfolio will be value of stock portfolio multiplied by beta there is 16 lakhs multiplied by 1.2 and that gives you rupees 19 lakh 20 thousand what i have just mentioned you have to enter into a nifty futures contract with a short position and the contract value of nifty futures has to be targeted at 19 lakh 20 thousand all right friends let us move ahead and uh, the next step that is step four is uh, determine the number of index futures to be contracted so number of index futures to be contracted will be desired value of index future that we have just determined 19 lakh 20 thousand will be divided by the index future price and mind it index future price given to you already in the question is 8000 rupees so it will be 19 lakh 20 thousand divided by 8000 240 indices that means what you should do mr x should enter into a nifty futures contract for 240 units with a short position so in the next and last step what we are going to do the two scenarios given to you 
we are going to analyze each of these. So, step 5, we determine the outcome of the scenario based on the given information. So, outcome of case 1, stock portfolio with long position. So, what we have is value today from the first step, rupees 16 lakhs, value after 3 months. Now, this is expected to be rupees 340 per share. What is rupees 400 now is expected to become rupees 340. As a result, your overall stock portfolio value is expected to decline from 16 lakhs to 13 lakhs 60,000. And if that happens, the resulting loss on the stock portfolio would be rupees 2 lakh 40,000. So this 2 lakh 40,000 is the loss from the stock portfolio but this is not the ultimate amount of loss this is just the outcome of holding this stock portfolio we have yet to consider what happened with the nifty futures contract let us proceed ahead so what we see next is the outcome of short position in index future portfolio so most important thing is price of index future after three months this is going to be rupees 7000 as per our expectation. How did we arrive at this 7000? I am going to explain you in a while because that has been presented via working note number 1. So just hold on a little. I will explain you how we got this 7000. But if you look into, you have entered into a contract with a short position. Means you have entered into a contract to sell at rupees 8000 and on the settlement date the price of nifty futures turns to be 7000 so something that you have agreed to sell at 8000 is actually prevailing in the market at rupees 7000 obviously you are selling at a higher price and eventually making a profit so gain per index is rupees 1000 and the number of indices that you have contracted is 240 index so the resulting gain is rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand what we find the net gain or loss that is on stock portfolio and index future portfolio when offset we get nil amount that means we have successfully planned the hedge position because the overall resulting gain or loss is nil we are calling this as a perfect hedge one thing that is left over is to understand how did we get rupees 7000 as the expected price of nifty futures after three months so for that i told you earlier we are going to make a separate working and i am also going to explain that working to you let us move ahead and understand and write it down so we first find the decrease in share price you observe that the price of the share three months before was 400 and the share price after 3 months is 340 400 becoming 340 means the decline is by rupees 60 rupees 60 decline on the base price of 400 shows a decline of 15 percent now we know one thing that percentage decrease in the share price will be percentage decrease in index multiplied by beta why understand this equation something very important what is the meaning of beta beta indicates the degree of risk that your stock has with respect to the nifty futures so in this case beta is 1.2 whatever be the movement in index future multiplied by 1.2 should be the movement in the share price as a result if this is 15 percent and this is 1.2 what will be the percentage decrease in index so we can work out this equation by substituting percentage decrease in share price as 15 percent and beta as 1.2 so what we get is percentage decrease in index as 12.5 percent therefore index future price after three months will be it was originally 8000 and reduced by 12.5 percent which gives you a final value of rupees 7000 all right friends after noting down this whole thing let us conclude one more point as a formula over here if you would want to arrive at percentage decrease in index directly you may take the percentage decrease in stock 
divided by beta and you will get the percentage decrease in index directly. So let us write down that small notation so that it can be used directly in calculations ahead. So what I want you to write down is percentage decrease in index equals to percentage decrease in share price divided by beta. This decrease and decrease can also be increase and increase because beta being positive obviously the stock and index both are going to move in the same direction. And now let us go ahead with the outcome of case 2. In case 2 what has happened that the share price has been expected to increase. So value at the initial stage was 16 lakhs and value after 3 months from 400 the share price is expected to rise to 448. So from 400 if it has become 448 the total value of your stock portfolio becomes 17 lakh 92,000 resulting into a gain of 1 lakh 92,000. However this index future portfolio is not going to allow you to enjoy this gain because one side if you have made gain in your stock portfolio your nifty futures contract will obviously result into a loss that is the negative aspect of creating hedge position it will not let you earn profit on the other side it will not let you incur loss also what we observe now with respect to nifty futures portfolio that is what we call as index future portfolio the price after three months again we have expected the price to be 8800 how we got 8800 again we are going to show by a separate working as working note number two so contracted sale price was 8000 and the resulting price after three months when the time of settlement arrives it is expected to be 8800 that means you have agreed to sell something at 8000 whose price has eventually become 8800 that means you are trying to sell it at a lower price moreover if you have taken a short position in anything and after taking short position if the price rises obviously you are going to incur loss so now there will be a loss per index of rupees 800 and the number of indices that you have contracted is 240 index resulting loss over here will be exactly the same amount that is 1,92,000 this gives you again net gain or loss as a nil so again what we have planned is a perfect hedge alright friends let us move ahead and understand how did we get this expected price of nifty futures after 3 months as 8800 via working note number 2 so we have already understood one thing that percentage increase in the share price from 400 to 448 it indicates a 12 percent increase we have also learnt a notation that percentage change in index will be percentage change in stock divided by beta directly applying this notation it will be 12 divided by 1.2 that gives you 10 percent and when this 10 percent increase added to the initial price of the nifty futures that is 8000 8000 plus 10 percent it will eventually become 8800 all right friends i'm sure you would have understood this whole concept of hedging through index futures you would not want to miss valuable videos like this am i right you don't want to miss this and therefore a simple task that you should do is subscribe to this channel and keep the notification bell always on so that you get updates about all the upcoming videos thank you so much for attending this class